I have a lot of things I want to try to introduce you to in the next 15 minutes. So bear with me um, and buckle up as we go along. I'm just excited to share all of the great things happening in the Ray School of Business at Clarkson University. Uh, so just as an introduction, Clarkson University's Ray School of Business holds AACSB accreditation, as well as what we call CAMI accreditation, which is the Commission of Accreditation of Healthcare Management. So we have healthcare management programs as well, uh, which I'll introduce you to that. We're also very proud of the fact that this year, both our online MBA and our residential full-time MBA were both ranked in the top 100 MBA programs in the United States. So I wanna get that out now uh, before I unfortunately might forget. <laughs> uh, so I'm Joshua Lefebvre, Director of Graduate Business Programs. Uh, we oversee both online and residential business programs, which I'm gonna talk about today. Uh, my focus to, uh, this morning for you will be based on the graduate programs that we have. However, we do have undergraduate programs in marketing, innovation and entrepreneurship, supply chain management, finance, as well as business intelligence and data analytics. But for today, I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes talking specifically about some of our graduate business programs. But first, a little bit about Clarkson University. We're located in what we call upstate New York. Upstate New York is about six and a half to seven hours drive from New York City, but only an hour from the nation's capital of Canada. So we're in the very northern part of New York State. That's where our primary campus is held. However, we also have campuses uh, in Schenectady, Albany, New York, the capital of our state of New York, as well as a pier in New York City and a few uh, uh, research centers and estuaries uh, along the Hudson River. So we've we're spreading out um, and growing rapidly. Uh, but as far as the main campus of Clarkson University, we're founded in 1896. We have 4,300 students representing 44 states and 65 countries. And our faculty to student ratio is one to 11. One of the most uh, astounding facts that we're so proud of is the nature of, of outcomes. So when we talk about the race school business in Clarkson University, our focus is always on preparing leaders for the future and for the career for their career and for success in their career so over the past 15 years we've studied alumni and where they've gone after finishing from clarkson university and right now we actually just updated this recently and get a chance to change this slide but one in five alumni of clarkson university are already a ceo president business owner or another c-suite executive and that really speaks to the successes that our students have not only in placement when they finish their degree but also as they build their career. So we're really proud of that fact. And this is a little bit about Clarkson University. We do have athletics, both division one, and division three, and I'm really proud of our, like our Baja team and a lot of our engineering programs. Uh, funny enough, when I was visiting a college in Bangalore, I came across their Baja team and they had pictures with our university uh, competing against each other. And it just, it really, brings to light how global we are and how we reach out together, we compete together, we learn together, uh, we have fun together, and it's just a wonderful experience uh, to have with that. So that's a little bit about Clarkson. We're also known for STEM and engineering fields. Uh, but as far as the Ray School of Business, we focus on experiential learning, we focus on consulting and partnership with companies, and we work very closely with our alumni to ensure that our curriculum is exactly what they're looking for for uh, future employers. The namesake David D. Ray uh, became that in the fall of 2017. Uh, we're really proud of our alumni and our donor who provided the funding not only for the School of Business, but our, our incubator for entrepreneurship, a lot of great opportunities uh, for us to be able to do more uh, outreach and more experiential learning uh, for students. Uh, and as I mentioned, we have master's degrees, undergraduate degrees and certificates, uh, as well as we do a lot of executive seminars for uh, business or corporate partners throughout the summer. Okay, and then finally, as far as a little bit about Clarkson and outcomes, Clarkson uh, is about connections, deep connections and networks of connected alumni and corporate partners give master's students access to industry leaders and exceptional uh, opportunities. As far as experience, because of small class size, our MBA programs require uh, capstone strat strategic courses, working with companies, traveling abroad. Uh, there's always an experiential requirement of all of our programs. And then ROI, Payscale Inc. ranks Clarkson in the top 12 of best master's degree granting programs for my salary potential. So, and, and I did have a chance to update this slide of the one in five. But really what that tells us is that we are outcome oriented. Uh, the companies that we work with uh, hire Clarkson alumni and they believe in Clarkson alumni. Last fall, 
we had uh, for a campus of 4,300 students, we had well over 200 companies representing a career fair hiring for our employers, or excuse me, for our students. And we just continuously work on, on building that because when you come to Clarkson, it's not just for the degree, it's for the experience. And part of that experience is that the investment you make in your long-term career goals. And that's something we really work very hard for uh, to ensure that that meets the expectations that our students have as they come in. Okay, something has happened, there we go. Okay, so here's an overview of our programs. I'm gonna to try to provide you a very high level of some of these, but as far as the online uh, options for our programs, we do have an online MBA, and I'll talk briefly about that soon. We have a Master's of Science in Supply Chain Management that is a 100% online program. We have a Healthcare Management MBA. Uh, so this is an MBA that's specifically tailored and focused for the healthcare industry. We also have an MS in healthcare data analytics, as well as a couple of advanced certificates. Again, these are online programs. Some of them offer in-person classes as well, uh, but all of these programs can be done online uh, with either no residency or very limited residency. And I'll get to that and the impact of what that looks like now uh, in the current situation that we're in. For the programs that have residencies right now, they are all online, as with I'm sure most institutions across the globe, uh, we have, suspended all in-person classes at this time. Uh, so because we already have a very experienced faculty and uh, you know experience in teaching online programs, uh, it was a nice, easy transition for us. And right now all residencies uh, are, are all online at this time. Uh, as far as on-site, so when we are able to welcome students to campus again soon, uh, we have a residential MBA program. It is an accelerated nine-month MBA program for those that are looking to get a degree um, and, and move up, <clears throat> be able to move on fast. That program is also accessible, uh, and we do have many students that do it in a year and a half to two years, depending on their overall goals and structure. However, it can be done as in, in as little as nine months. And the other piece to that particular program is that as our full-time MBA program recently uh, ranked in the top 90 uh, of uh, US News and World Report best business schools. The healthcare MBA has hybrid options. It can be done in person and it can be done online. For students that are looking to do it in one year, we do offer a hybrid option in our Schenectady CRC campus, which is near Albany, New York. And that is a, a blend of online and in-person classes, but that can be done in one year. And then we also have in our Schenectady campus an MS in clinical leadership, which it really takes from the coursework of the MBA. Uh, however, most students that complete that degree decide to continue on into the healthcare program. So you do have a couple of options there. As far as the online programs, and again, I apologize for going quickly, but I know I have to be mindful of our time. The online MBA is a very uh, succinct curriculum. It is 10 core courses and four electives. So as far as the 10 courses go, you can see all of these here. These are the same core courses as our res residential MBA. And again, the, the goal of that MBA to give you the business acumen where you're working on synergizing your knowledge of the different functional areas of business and you're understanding the interplay between them all and how a leader uh, makes sound business decisions by in integrating and thinking through all of these different elements of business. So you're going from accounting and, your, and finance and all of the things related to an MBA we also put in a lot of our core competencies around decision analysis and supply chain management, but then you're free to choose electives that either can span across our, our other programs uh, or you choose electives within the program. Some people choose to do a combined program with our MS and data analytics, uh, so you're getting a little bit of both. You're getting the data side and the MBA side to really develop a strong business analytics uh, skill set. So you do have that option as well. Uh, most students complete two courses per quarter. Uh, and complete this program in just under two years. You can <clears throat> you can do it a little bit quicker, uh, but because this program is does designed for that flexibility of online education, uh, that is typically about a, a little under a two-year program uh, to complete. This program right now usually has a one weekend residency in Albany. Uh, however, that is weighed for our international students who choose to do this program. Uh, we typically find, uh, we take the cohort of students that are coming from other countries and we do a, an alternative residency option. Uh, so that's nothing that you would need to worry about if you chose to do an online MBA with Clarkson, uh, you would not need to step foot on campus. 
This program has been also been recognized as a top 100 MBA by US News and World Report. Come with some quick facts. I've already talked a little bit about this. No business coursework is required for admission. Uh, the, the residency piece would be um, waived for you. Uh, we've already talked a little bit of, about all of those things actually, so I can kind of skip over uh, all of the, the rest of this slide, uh, but we do have many students that do a combined degree with MS in data analytics as well. And that's where three classes are shared between both programs. This year, we've recently launched the online MS in supply chain management. This is an extension of our supply chain curriculum in our MBA programs. Uh, this is a 30 credit hour program that does not have any residency requirement even before uh, the COVID pandemic. So this program will never require a step foot on campus. Uh, typically students will do this in about a year and a half and we do admit students in any different term. So you can, with, uh, with our quarter based system, just like the online MBA, you can do this uh, enter in four different quarters in the year. That is June, we just started this week, then September, then January, and then March is the different times that you can start. So that's our MS in supply chain management. Some quick facts about this, uh, just so you, so you know, uh, I've already mentioned most of this, but the other thing I wanna mention is that supply chain management is one of the core competencies in the Ray School of Business. Uh, it's been recognized as top 20 supply chain program for the past 16 years. Uh, we really attribute our faculty and their research uh, and their connections with industry uh, uh, to ensure that this curriculum is uh, it's most um, most relevant for uh, the growing and ever-changing fields in supply chain. So the MBA in healthcare management, in addition to our online MBA, we have an online MBA in healthcare. Clarkson is one of only 28 programs in the United States that holds both accreditations for the healthcare MBA, and that is the AACSB as well as the CAMI accreditation. Uh, recently receiving uh, CAMI reaccreditation uh, just a few months ago. Uh, but we stand as a small amount of institutions that hold both of that. And really that uh, really speaks to the quality, not only as an MBA program, um, but it's recognition in the healthcare field. So whether you're in insurance or hospital or public health uh, or uh, other types of practices like pharmacy, um, all of those fields need leaders and they need adaptive leaders, especially now. Uh, if you look at epidemiology and the role uh, that that plays with leaders, uh, we are one of the only MBA programs that has an epidemiology course as a requirement in the program. This is a 16 course program with 10 week quarters. The core courses are online or in class, as I've mentioned, uh, and the elective courses can be any advanced MBA, both online or in class. Uh, and, and we also have had opportunities to study abroad uh, in Switzerland, or France as a part of the experience in the healthcare MBA program. As I mentioned, it's 11 core courses, three on-site. Typically there are three on-site weekend requirements. Uh, however, again, those right now are currently being waived. Oh, well, not waived, but they're being done online, excuse me. Uh, a lot of people ask, what is the difference between a healthcare MBA and a regular MBA? So if you look at uh, the way that we've set this up, they still have the same core business disciplines, the business functions, the core competencies that an MBA has. The difference is, again, they're focused on the healthcare industry. So in supply chain, you're gonna be studying the specific issues related to supply chain in the healthcare industry. You're gonna be thinking about healthcare operations instead of you know, business operations. The, a lot of the theories and concepts do uh, apply to both. However, the faculty who have experience in working in the healthcare industry actually take it a step further and they're specifically tailoring it with case studies, uh, guest speakers and actual real life situations happening in our hospitals, happening in any of, the, any of those fields that we've talked about uh, as far as helping to design uh, and prepare leaders for those specific fields. If you come uh, into the program without specific work experience or, or even internship experience in the healthcare industry, you will be required to complete a 400 hour internship and that's something that we help set up nothing you need to do on your own uh, but just know that that is a requirement that is out there quickly our residential mba program as i mentioned it's a 38 credit hour uh full time it's nine months but many students complete it in a year and a half to two years depending on what they're looking to do uh the pro the different pro different approach here is that it does assume that you have business background so if you with a with the fall semester, there are two credit modules. So you're actually taking 
two sets of seven week modules at a time, the same curriculum as the online MBA, but broken out uh, again without the introductory concepts associated with each of those disciplines. If a student still wants to do a residential program and does not have that business background, we also have what's called our business concepts program. That happens in the summer, so it happens at the end of May to August, and that is a tuition-free program for students admitted into this program. Uh, so instead of nine months, it would be 12 months that you could finish with your MBA with Clarkson in a residential setting without having a business degree as an undergraduate major. Uh, so in this, uh, we have five electives and you'll choose a spe specific track or concentration. We have our capstone strategy course and then our international study abroad experiential class. So recently, students have gone to uh, Thailand, Australia, um, Spain, Switzerland, France, there's many different options associated with this requirement, but this is where you will travel for two weeks and you will visit companies, visit with alumni, and really spend time studying business and industry in that particular country. Okay, so that, I'm not really sure where I'm at with time, but just almost wrapping up here. Uh, the residential MBA, as I mentioned, has a module format. We do have an experiential requirement, but it's a cohort base. So we start this program in the fall only, uh, and you will go through the program with your cohort, uh, students coming from all over the world, a lot of opportunity uh, to learn from your peers as well as in the program. Um, we have that tuition-free summer concepts. So this is an opportunity for you to learn the core concepts uh, and still participate in the residential program. Last year, we had 95% job placement, as I mentioned, the top 90 FT, uh, excuse me, full-time uh, MBA program in the US. And while I can't go into a certain level of detail, I'm happy to discuss with anyone afterwards, uh, but uh, the certificate options here are accounting, environmental management, innovation and new venture, supply chain, data analytics. <clears throat> we have an international track where you can spend a semester abroad at one of our partner institutions. Right now we have Australia, Hong Kong, and France. Uh, or you might want to do a general, we call a general MBA, meaning you just individualize it. <clears throat> you might not want to take all of your electives in a particular discipline. So you'd work with me to really think about what your long-term goals are, what's the skill set you're looking to achieve, and then we would develop a program um, based upon that. So I talked about the international track. And then finally, you have dual degree options in data analytics, as well as environmental politics and governance. Uh, these, as a dual degree, there are more than nine credits of shared uh, coursework and a lot of opportunities for you to uh, walk away with two master's degrees and just a little, a uh, few additional courses than you traditionally would um, by with one. Let me wrap up with some admissions requirements. So for all of our programs in the Ray School of Business, these are what we require. Application, uh, your essay, your statement of purpose, you know, why are you looking to complete this degree? Uh, how does it fit with your career goals? Your resume or CV. Uh, transcripts. So we will accept unofficial transcripts uh, for the purpose of evaluating you for admission. However, at the time that you are admitted and decide to enroll with us, we will need official transcripts that do have the stamp and signature from your institution. We uh, normally require GMAT and GRE scores. However, one of the things that we believe in is access related to uh, providing educational opportunities to everyone in the world especially with so much unknown going on uh, with COVID. So we are waiving our GMAT and GRE requirements uh, for the quarters and semesters all the way through till spring 2021. So you'll be able to apply uh, with all of the things mentioned here, letters of recommendation. And then as far as the international student requirements, uh, this is something that I will, I'm happy to go into a little bit of detail when I have more time. Uh, however, we do require a uh, equivalency to US bachelors. Uh, as well as an English language requirement. So we do have English language scores. Uh, we accept, um, you know, IELTS, uh, the um, IBT TOEFL, uh, as well as Duolingo. And uh, we, I'm, you know, happy to work through all of those things. And, and typically, um, you know, engineering degrees are three years. We accept those. Um, and most of those requirements are available on our website. So right now, uh, that is something to keep in mind is that we are waiving those requirements, uh, the GMAT GRE scores. And a little bit about the cost of the, the programs is here, 1388 a credit for residential, 1174 for online, uh, and some nominal fees there. So the programs do range in price. 
Um, however, we do provide merit-based scholarships. So we have four different anchor points, but we also acknowledge and award scholarships at the time of admission for work experience, other academic achievements, and so on. With the GMAT being waived, we're still acknowledging the scholarship levels without that requirement there. Uh, and the average discount rates do vary, uh, but everyone receives some form of aid uh, and that aid or scholarship is awarded at the time of admission is not something you have to apply for separately.